Welcome, welcome, welcome to Easy 3 Sport Production. I am your host, Subtles. And if you have not been here before, go ahead and hit that sub. Make sure you hit that notification. And a like is always welcome. So we're going to continue on with the series of the 2024 draft class. Going through the quarterbacks. I've already done Caleb Williams and Drake May. But now it's time to do the electric one. Now it's time to do this guy coming out of LSU. Absolutely phenomenal. Is he Lamar Jackson 2.0? We may see in the near future, but this guy is absolutely electric. He is a Heisman Trophy winner. Yes, we are talking about Jaden Daniels from LSU. 6'4", 200 pounds of pure electricity. So this is going to be the same concept as all of the other videos where I'll be talking about what Jaden Daniels did throughout the season, be talking about his highlights, and then rating him on a scale of the arm talent, the accuracy, the leadership, the poise, footwork, and we're going to see what he ends up with the grade. Now, for me, Jaden Daniels is actually one of the better overall quarterbacks in this draft class. He's not just a one-trick wonder. The what he's displayed at LSU was absolutely phenomenal, especially this year. The team wasn't really winning, but he put that team on his back, and you just seen each and every week. He just got better and better and better, and that's all you can really ask from a quarterback. But we're going to start off with his uh, strengths. <coughs> First off, the athleticism. The athleticism, the mobility, you already see it. The question that I just posed, is he Lamar Jackson 2.0? And he just very well may be. He is electric. He's able to get out the pocket. The mobility is at an all-time high. He puts up numbers running the ball, and he knows how to get down. He knows how to escape. Even though he's only 200 pounds, a slim frame, but at the end of the day, as long as you know how to get down and how fast the NFL really is, because this kid is really fast, and you know when to slide, when to get out of bounds, and don't take those big hits. I believe that he will be perfectly fine. Accuracy, another strength of his. He has a cannon for an arm, but he does know how to dial it back. He really works best outside the numbers. He can make every throw on the football field, and the accuracy is there. He can put it uh, short, he can put it medium, and also going deep, he can put that ball on a string and have that wide receiver just drop right into his arms for a touchdown. So the accuracy is one of the biggest things. <clears throat> game changer. Because he's that kind of impact player, he has game-changing ability. And what I mean by that is you may be looking at the pocket collapsing and he's about to take a five-yard loss and he scrambles up out the pocket, buy some time, throw it deep, 60-yard bomb, touchdown. Or just a simple play action, he looks for the boot, it's not there, he takes a run, 45 yards, to the house. He's a game changer. At an instant, he can turn that game around from wherever that you're at and get you to wherever you, you really want to be. He's just that electric. Electric, you're going to keep on hearing me say that Jaden Daniels is just elusive. He's electric because that's really the only word is best to describe him. Like, he's really that guy that in a blink of an eye, he can really take your team from being third and 15 and on the 20 yard line getting ready to punch the ball in. That's the kind of game changing ability and impact that he has on the game. The leadership. Now, it really showed this season because LSU was not that good. Now, they got good individual players. But overall, they really just wasn't that good. And as I said before, Jaden Daniels just continue to get better and better and better each and every week. And you've seen it coming, coming down the pipe. And then that's how he made that late season push to be the Heisman <laughs> Trophy winner. But the leadership on that is you have to keep your guys engaged. Like, the guys have to look into your eyes and see that you believe that you can go out there and perform at a very high level and get them to perform 
at that high level or even better than what they were doing. And as I said, the team wasn't the, wasn't that good this year, but it was still a lot of bright spots, and Jaden Daniels was one of them. Now we're going to get into a little bit of the weaknesses. Um, he really doesn't have too many of them, but it's not too... It's, it's, it's hard to describe because when I was watching him, a lot of his weaknesses can be turned into electric type plays. So, um, one of the things that he does struggle with is the passing concepts. So, passing concepts in the middle of the field in particular. So, if you are a team that your best guy is, let's say, a tight end, um, just going to use an example, Atlanta, if it's Kyle Pitts, and you usually line Kyle Pitts up in at the tight end position, and you got him doing a lot of in routes, a lot of um, comeback routes, a lot of seam routes, all in the middle of the field, that's where Jaden Daniel really struggles, because he doesn't have the ability to really look off defenders, but when it's a passing concept in the middle of the field, everybody can collapse because he's eyeing that guy straight down there. Now, he has the arm to get it there, but that's just one of his struggles of with the accuracy, and it's just so dangerous because if you have a five yard, um, if you have like a seven to ten yard in route, and if you overthrow it, most likely that ball is going to be intercepted. Or if you throw it too low, it's going to get tipped. So that's one of the uh, weaknesses that I've seen in his game um, c coming down the um, coming down the pipe, especially around around the Heisman time. It's just the passing concepts in the middle. Another thing is decision making. Now, it's a little iffy because he can make great decisions and he can also make very poor decisions with just holding on to the ball, not really trusting it. The pass is there, but he rather use his legs. He rather use his mobility. He rather use that agility that he has to get out the pocket and go. Now, I don't have a problem with that, but that's not going to work every single time in, in the NFL. In the NFL, you're going to have to be on point, on target when it comes to a lot of the passing concepts because they're so timed. And also, guys are just faster. We're going to see many times that he's going to get chased down by, by a DN and he will get caught by the DN from behind. So it's not like college. You got everybody's best guy from college in the NFL. So that's those are the things I think that he's going to struggle with, but it's nothing that a learning curve won't really happen. So now let's get into the grading. So for the arm talent uh, of Jaden Daniels, I gave him an A minus. As I said before, outside the numbers, he's perfectly fine. In the in the middle concept, um, in the passing middle concepts, he can still make the throws. It's just that. The accuracy and everything is a little bit off, so it's not an A+, plus, but his arm talent is there. He can make every throw on the football field. Um, even if you move in the pocket, he can make it. He can make it. Uh, he can make the throws on the run. He's that guy that he's not going to have the top five arm talent coming into the league like how Caleb Williams or Drake May will, but <clears throat> as an NFL quarterback, it's definitely doable. He can make every throw, and that's all you can really ask from a quarterback. For the accuracy, A-. minus. One of, we're going right back to the passing concepts as well, is the accuracy across the middle of the field he struggles with. But on the outside of the numbers, he's perfectly fine. You know, throwing on the run, perfectly fine. But it's just the middle of the field, the middle of the concepts. Now, what's going to probably happen when he gets into the league, they're going to see that the middle is probably one of the of his struggle points so they will probably begin to move the pocket get to one side because he can make every throw it's not an issue of arm talent it's more of an issue of reading where the defense is and where you want them to be so that you can make that throw <coughs> and um he'll learn that it's just a learning curve. No prospect is going to come into the NFL 100% polished. No matter how much, if they want to throw out the term generational, they're not going to come into the league polished. They're going to have to work on things. And he's just going to get better. And he has shown 
at LSU that he has the ability to get better week after week after week after week. So I don't see no big problems there. But um, it is going to be one of the things that he's going to have to work on going into this um going into the draft prospect uh process and also in his career footwork i give him a b he has decent footwork it's gonna have to be worked on a little bit but usually with guys that have really good arm talent <coughs> their footwork isn't 100 percent the best because their arm talent is going to bail them out of a lot of bad throws like he's able to throw on a run one foot and put it on a dime on the sideline the footwork may be messed up but the arm talent gets that ball to where it needs to be so footwork is important for a certain type of quarterback it's not important for every quarterback but you still need the necessary pinpoints and fundamentals to be able to throw a good ball and to make sure that everything is on point where the mechanics is and you can deliver that ball with the velocity that it needs to be so it won't get tipped <coughs> poise b minus he is a poise competitor and he showed throughout the season that it is a lot of stressful situations that he may get in and like i said he'll Instead of just waiting that half a second for that wide receiver to get open, he's getting out the pocket. He's going to run. And that's where he's going to have to learn coming into the league. Even with guys that are faster, you, you have to trust that offensive line. Now, I totally understand if the offensive line is trash and you just don't trust them and you want to get out of Dodge. That's understandable. But at the NFL level, you're going to have to put some kind of trust into your offensive line where, okay, this pocket is here. It's collapsing. If I could hold on to this ball just a half a second, this 15-yard this fifteen yard comeback route is going to be open. And that's what I would like to see from Jaden Daniels moving forward in his career. And leadership, as we spoke about earlier, that was one of his strengths. That's an A+. Plus. And he showed it throughout all the season. A terrible team. But he still found a way to get the team the wins. And he found a way to get the Heisman Trophy. One of the biggest prestiges in all of college football. He was able to get that. It, it only takes a real leader to being able to take a team that was not that talented. And get to where they got to. And that's what Jaden Daniels is. So his leadership is at an A+. Plus. Overall, this prospect is an A. He's an A. I mean, it's it's <laughs> it's really no doubt about it. He's an A, and he's gonna have success in the NFL. Like one of the biggest things is that he is in this draft class and not in the Lamar Jackson draft class, simply because the issue when Lamar came into the league was nobody. It wasn't seen, his play style wasn't seen to be a winning formula. It was only you had to be a pocket quarterback or if you was mobile enough, but you still had to throw from the pocket. Now, Lamar is about to win his second MVP. Now, they got to the conference finals, um, the conference championship, and they lost to Patrick Mahomes. But... Lamar Jackson have paved the way to show like you can win with this formula. You can win with this type of archetype of a quarterback. You just have to design it in a different manner. And I believe that is what Jaden Daniels is. Whoever drafts Jaden Daniels, I believe he will go top 10. But whoever drafts Jaden Daniels is going to have to formulate their entire offense <coughs> Change the concepts a little so that it can fit what he does best. And he is like almost a carbon copy of Lamar Jackson coming out of uh, Louisville. And I believe the best place for Jaden Daniels, and it will be super exciting to see him, is at the Atlanta Falcons. I brought up Kyle Pitts for a particular reason because I do believe that's the best fit where Jaden Daniels will go. Well, can go and it'll just be fun. I mean, it would be electric. Just imagine Jaden Daniels 
um, uh, Robinson and Pitts, and then on the outside you got Drake. Uh, you got Drake London. It that that offense will be building a very young core, a very exciting team. As long as they turn the concepts around just a tad bit to fit Jaden. That team will be phenomenal, and it will be really fun, really fun to watch <laughs> if he goes to the Atlanta Falcons. But I do believe that he is a top ten a uh, prospect. He's a he's gonna be a damn good quarterback going into the league. And those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And until next time, I'm out. <laughs>